Okay, in this video we're going to prove an extension of Theorem 4.5. Uh, you may recall that the, the Theorem 4.5 says that the internal bisector of an angle divides the opposite side into two segments proportional to the size of the triangle adjacent to the angle. So in this case, this says that the ratio of the length of segment AD to the length of segment DC is equal to the ratio of the length of segment AB to the length of segment BC. Uh, what we're going to prove in this uh, in this video is that an analogous result applies when you consider the external bisector and its intersection with the opposite with a line extended through the opposite side of the triangle. Okay, <clears throat> so let's get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the all of the extraneous pieces here. <clears throat> and so we have a triangle ABC. These are just uh, arbitrary points. We're not going to use any special information about the location of these points. And we have constructed the uh, external bisector to the triangle at the point P. Uh, now we, in a previous video we've shown that the external bisector is perpendicular to the internal bisector at that angle, um, but we're not going to actually use that in this case. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to um, show that the ratio of a, the, the length of side AF uh, to the length of the segment CF is equal to the ratio of the length of AB to the length of BC. And we're going to do this by constructing a larger triangle uh, for which F is the intersection of the internal bisector uh, with this larger side along the bottom. And so what we're going to do is we're basically going to construct a larger version of triangle ABC. Okay, and so what we are going to do is we're going to um, construct a segment that is perpendicular to BF um, called FE. Uh, and we're going to, so we're actually going to make that line parallel to this internal bisector here. So we take the line parallel to this segment here and the one that passes through point F. And then we're going to extend uh, the line, the segment AB, out to meet this uh, here. Okay. And now we're going to construct a line parallel to the line segment BC that passes through this point E out at this intersection. Uh, and that is going to give us the segment EG out here. And then of course we extend this triangle out, um, extend this line segment AC out to AG. Okay, and so what we have here uh, is a larger triangle that is similar to triangle ABC because this line is parallel to this line. Uh, this angle here, angle BEG, is equal to the measure of that is equal to the angle ABC and <clears throat> the angle AGE is equal in measure to the to the angle ACB. So what this tells us is that the ratio of AE to EG where did those go? The ratio of this side to this side is going to be exactly equal to the ratio of this side to this side. So uh, what we're going to show then is that F is the internal bisector of this larger, internal angle bisector of this larger triangle. And that would establish that the length AF, uh, the ratio of the length AF to the length FG is equal in proportion to the length AE to EG. 
and then we need to show that this segment FG has exactly the same length as CF and then we'll be we'll be home free okay so we have constructed our external bisector uh, and the point F the at which it intersects and what we're going to show uh, is that F is actually the center of a circle that is tangent to the line containing BC, the line containing BE, and the line containing EG. And the reason for this is the, the very nature of this external bisector. Um, this external bisector is the internal bisector of this angle out here, which means that these are all the points that are equal in distance to, to the side BE as to the side BC. Uh, <clears throat> and this segment over here is the internal bisector of this angle. So these are all the points that are equal in distance from this side to this side, as to this side. So this point F, being on the intersection of both, is exactly the same distance from the line containing BC to the line containing BE as it is to the line containing EG. So we can construct a point H by, by constructing a line per perpendicular to AE that passes through F, and then we can construct a circle that has center F and passes through H. <clears throat> and we're going to use this circle to prove a statement about the segments CF and FG. So we're going to go ahead and extend That is not really what I expected it to be. We're going to extend the segment BC so that it intersects this circle at the point we'll call J. And then we'll let K be the intersection of this circle with the point E. And now we're going to consider these two triangles, triangle CJF and triangles FKG. Now these two triangles uh, share an angle right here because these angles are opposite one another. Um, and these sides here, FK and JF, are both radiuses, a radii of this circle, so they must have the same length. And since these um, lines here are tangent to that circle, these angles, the angle FJC, and the angle FKG must be right angles. So the uh, angle side angle theorem says that these two triangles are exactly the same, are, are congruent. And so we can conclude then that these segments CF and FG have exactly the same length because they are both, they are the hypotenuses of congruent right triangles. Okay, so we've established that C F has exactly the same length as FG. Now we've also uh, established that um, by virtue of the fact that F is the point on this internal bisector here, that the ratio of FG to the side to the length sorry the length of the ratio of the length AF to FG is equal to the ratio AE to EG. Now since CF has the same length as FG, that means that the ratio of the, le the length AF to the length CF is equal to the ratio of the length AE to EG, uh, which you'll recall is equal to the ratio of the length AB to BC. So we've established then that the ratio of this segment divided externally, AF to FC, is equal to the ratio AB to BC. 
which uh, you recall is also equal to the ratio of the length AD to DC. And so this is our this is how we would go about proving theorem 4.5b, the external bisector of an angle externally divides the opposite side into two segments proportional to the sides of the triangle adjacent to the angle. This is relevant uh, because when we get to the proof of the circle of Apollonius, uh, we are going to use the fact that D and F have the same ratio, um, have essentially the, the same ratio of distances from points A and C.